So guys, what we have here is a new mouse from Mountain. This is the Makalu Max. This is a modular mouse. Like, yeah, you can literally pull this thing apart in some senses and uh, customize it a little bit more to make it your own. The older Makalu was a lightweight ergo mouse, and this kind of goes in the opposite direction. This one is a little bit heavier, a little bit more substantial, closed design, no holes or anything like that, but it is wireless. You do have some customizability and you have this third side button here too, which I don't recall being on the old Makalu 67, I believe it was called. And then you have different side grips that we're gonna go over in just a bit here. But we're gonna look at a little bit of the unboxing experience. But as a pretty basic overview of the exterior, you got your two mouse buttons right here. These are KLGM 8.0 switches, your middle button here for your DPI levels. You have your scroll wheel, which feels pretty nice and tactile as well. Your three side buttons. Again, this third one, not gonna lie to you guys, really really hard for me to use like it's okay these top two feel way more natural to use but this bottom one it seems like it just should protrude just a little bit more to be easier to reach but i think it's because this little fin kind of gets in my way of hitting it but i also feel like if this button was moved up a little bit and back a little bit too that would make it just a lot easier to hit in my opinion. Also, at the bottom, we have PTFE feet and we do have these weight rings that you can remove as well if you would like to add additional weight to your mouse. I don't really think that this mouse really needs it, to be honest. I mean, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on the scale as we have it maxed out. So this weight adds an additional 10.6 grams, okay? And this mouse, without the weight, already weighs 100 and 15 grams almost. So personally, I don't, I don't think we need these. And they put a few of them in the box too, you know, if you want, this is the heaviest one. And then we have a couple more rings. So we got this one, which adds about six and a half grams. We have this one that adds about 8.7. And then again, we have this one that adds 10.6 grams. So uh, again, at over 114 grams, I don't think that this mouse needs any additional weight added to it, but your personal preference might change and you do have the option to put it there. This mouse is all about customization. Let's say that we want to put the standard side grips back on instead of these huge ergo grips. Uh, I definitely do prefer to use the standard grips. It just feels way more manageable in the hand. But if you do have a huge hand, maybe you will like the additional uh, ergo grips as well. Me, I like my mouse a little bit more slender. That way I can hold it in my hand and move it around for a bit more precision. These, they're kind of slippery. <laughs> but these pieces definitely hinder that ability for me. Maybe this would be a lot more comfortable for using for work and when you're ready to game and you need a little bit more precision and a little bit more freedom with your mouse movements, you would put the slender sides back on so you have a bit more control. But I do understand why they included these. But uh, personally, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Even as an ergo mouse, I feel like it's more comfortable for me personally using the slender sides. Now, with all that uh, aside, Pixar 3370 sensor. It's a good sensor. I don't have any problem with it. Um, basically, it's a gold standard at this point. You can go to 3390 or 3395, but it's not really going to give you a massive tangible difference, I would say, until you start to go higher in your polling rate. But this mouse does run at a 1000 hertz polling rate wirelessly. Nice braided USB cable for charging as well, including the box, USB type C for charging, all of that good stuff. That is the Makalu Max. In terms of my gameplay with this mouse, I was still able to play pretty well with it, even though it is a little heavier. You probably just have to switch up the mouse pad that you're using. But uh, yeah, you could definitely make it work. You're seeing some gameplay right now. I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 over the past couple of weekends. It still does pretty good work. Is this my favorite mouse? Not necessarily. Is it a good ergo that you can customize? If that's what you're looking for, this is a different option that's available in the current mouse market that has been pretty dry as of recently. So this is something that is a little exciting. It's only $89 as well, so it's not a hugely expensive product. I'm glad that they didn't go off the deep end and price it at like $120 or $150 because I would have thought that that just would have been 
uh, way too much money for this kind of mouse and also weighing this much. I would like to see a lighter weight version of the Mikalu 67 and just update it with a 3370 wireless or 3395. That would be another mouse that I would like to see to be offered alongside the Mikalu Max. But otherwise, this mouse for the price is pretty nice. And if you want a heavy customizable mouse, then maybe this is for you personally. I'm gonna go back to something a little bit more lightweight, but uh, if this is what you're in the market for, maybe it'll do it for you. Give it a go. It'll cost you around 100 bucks. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. I will see you guys in the next video.